new tour date alert. All right, the official first show of the Return of the Ghetto Legends Tour is going to be, y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? In Macon. That's, that's July 17th, okay? July 17th, Macon at the Coliseum. Go to the website right now for more information. Put me in position, put me in position. Somebody get to my position. Oh. You mm. him. You see where that was going? I do. You see where that was going? I was with it. You was with it? I I'll do. give you one. Yeah. I'll give you one, Lou Nell. I know Bars. you. I know you like Bars. that. Gangsta ass music. I do. If you can spit, I'm with it. Man, you know there I you go. That's the one. You want me? You want to hear something on that? Yeah. That's a little too beautiful. You know that? Oh, you want to go hardcore out the gate? You know I might just with a woman of my stature. You, you know don't want to come romantic, motherfucking That's black, what you like? black king Lee. That's no, I, I really you like the now. gangster shit, but I, I would like to hear what I'd you would be like. Do. Hey, like excuse me, Miss Lady. Don't mean to be shady, but uh, would you like to get some lemonade? My name is Los, and I came from Mississippi. Don't you worry about the money, my girl, because I'm plenty paid. She said, what you do? I said, I'm independent. I do whatever I want. I just, why I spend it. She said, what? I said, huh? She said, what? I said, watch what I do. I said, I'm uh, independent, like I said, and uh, I started coming off the top of the head, and then uh, I understood that she didn't really understand, because she hadn't ever came across a man wow. like me, the kind that you see on TV, the kind of ones that the college boys want to be, mm -hmm. like a magnificent, so outstanding. Hey. She never met a man that was so demanding oh. in my presence. She liked my essence. She liked everything that I was displaying, but uh. I wasn't playing. I'm really on my grown man shit and then I took her to my house because I own that bitch. Yeah. yeah, and that's a real life flex. But then she didn't even know what I had coming next. We might just have breakfast or maybe brunch or maybe just pack it up and go somewhere where they be drinking wow. Hawaiian punch for breakfast. I bought the bitch a necklace. Hey, uh, just to show her I could, cause I know she never been outside her neighborhood. Good. And if I'm gonna treat her right, you know I treat gotta treat good. good. Yeah, <laughs> you starting to get it. See, uh, so you starting to get it. Yeah, and uh, you know that's the type of shit I just be doing. Yeah, you know, yes, you know, baby. You know, yes. I mean, change her yes. life right in yes, one verse. King. You know, yes, King. Yes, King. Yeah. Yes, King. Yeah. I know that place where they drink a wine punch for breakfast. They put it in the orange juice. <laughs> I know a spot like yeah, that, too. But I'm keeping my mouth shut. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> all right. First of all, before we even get Come into on, anything, man. welcome to the trap. Welcome to the trap. Welcome to the trap. It's only right that we got a clean pen in the trap. You right. Now, saying? look, let me stop, stop the music right quick, because it's only right that we give you your proper introduction, you Come know, on. for the people who may not know. Because not only do we have... Song. A true legend sitting in the Ooh, trap with us today. On. We have an actress. Come on. We have a writer. Let's go. We have a creative mind. Come on. We we have someone who's been ten toes down in the comedy game mm. since before there was a comedy game. Yeah. You feel me? Oh Traveled uh, all around the world. Was in the number one movie in America multiple times. Uh, Come on. You Let's feel go. me? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Miss well, Lou. Yeah. Is in here, and I, I want you to get all your proper respect. Nah, I know. I know thank you, thank you, I, I've had thank the pleasure you. of working with you throughout the years, and I know you've never claimed no title of a queen of comedy, but never. you are the definition of a queen of comedy. I don't disagree with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling just saying you. Yeah. That I never, you know, I never put that title on myself at all. Well, we see you as that. I thank you, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good, good. So welcome to the trap, like thank I you. said. Thank you, it's not and the we... first trap I've been in. <laughs> hey! <laughs> we appreciate it, yeah. and just know that, man, we have so much respect for what you do and what you have done, and, and you know, giving us a blueprint to follow in this comedy game. Yeah. Which is crazy, and I want to take this time to actually bow down 
and say that um, in the beginning, when the Instagram phenomenon, comic actor phenomenon started, and when people started to get really hot off of Instagram and making money and getting popular and selling out and like going fast after people who had put in the work, I felt some type of way. And yeah. I was like, you know, fuck these motherfuckers, they ain't paid no dues, fuck these bitches, you know, they don't, we done made a, our career out of likes and shit, fuck that. The, our social media was like, that bitch funny, go see her. That was, that was my shit. But then I had to bow down because the amount of time that it takes to create your content is a real motherfucking job. Right. And doing this shit and having a vision when you could be out fucking up somewhere is wonderful and amazing. So I bow down to all you motherfucking Instagram content creators. If you can't beat them, join them, money shit. You got to. Once you saw they weren't going nowhere. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I just had an issue with the word comic yeah. and the Instagram thing. I felt more like you guys were more actors, literally, right. you know, and could go into phenomenal acting career. And some of y'all, you, you know, you got to admit, y'all motherfuckers can create content, but then an hour on stage sometimes is a snore mm. for some of y'all motherfuckers, and that's just what it is. That's the game. But yes. the acting motherfucking game, the writing game, the producing game, that's where y'all come in, and that's what you're doing right now. Exactly. Yay, yeah, Strong J. <laughs> Strong, you know Strong J. We looked Strong at J. the whole scope of the internet and was like, we don't have no, no platform like this where comedians can come and just be comedians and talk shit and say shit and not have to worry about none of that other shit. Yeah. No sensational shit, none of that goddamn people want to be clickbait and all that shit. No, we want to hear from the people we want to hear from. So exactly. I'm glad you're in here. Yeah. So, Thank you. So tell us, like, I, where did your comedy journey start? Like, how did you get introduced to the, to the stage and the microphone and things like that? Well, do you want the short version or do you want the real version? We got time. Real. Do you, you want got the time real. today? We want we the real one. You got time today. We in the trap. We got juice and all types of shit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> OK. Well, um, the short, long version is I was living in Long Beach in a really nice apartment with a girlfriend of mine who was my roommate who was a hoe. Oh, okay. And I like this story. A, a real already. professional, <laughs> right, she, right? Okay. She was a professional call girl. She was British and she was black and she sounded like Sade and looked like Sade, but taller and thicker. She had all the, she checked she all had, the boxes. You know, she had the accent, and she could usually, you know, just talk to Pat and stuff with any guy that would come up into the gentleman's, you know, courts and <laughs> wanted to keep time with her. You know, she, and she had that, and they'd be like, uh, ooh, and all the shit. So she was very popular. So she met this guy. I could imagine. Who was a comic, and he started, you know, buying pussy from her. But then... He must have been doing all right, because no, when I started... He was, the, no. <laughs> he was established. He had pussy money? Right, right. Who was this guy? I'll tell you all, Kevin. But, but, but... He, he was he, doing he, well. He was, buying, he was buying pussy from her, but then they started dating on, on the for real. And he would be at the crib. And I'd be around there talking my shit, and he told me, he said, um, you know, you really funny, the shit you talk around here. He said, I do a... Uh, a comedy night at this club called Miss Wiz in Long Beach, which you have to be a triple OG to know about Miss Wiz. It ended up burning down and shit like okay. that, but that was back in the day. He said, I do a, a comedy night at Miss Wiz here in Long Beach, and if you ever want to come through, I'll, I'll let you go on stage the minute you walk in. And I said, I don't want to be no motherfucking comedian. I want to sing background for Luther. I used to do a lot of drugs back in the day. Oh. Uh, you know, <laughs> that's what I thought I could do. Whatever. I was about to ask, could you sing? Yeah, I could sing oh, okay, like a motherfucker. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, so I it, could it, sing was a, like it was a basis for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could, okay. you know, I might have done it, whatever. Anyway, so, but, and I've never been a joke teller, but I do, you know, I listen to Cosby and to Red Fox and to, um, you know, Flip Wilson and stuff like that. And so I was, I'm more of a storyteller. I don't really tell jokes. And those are the people that I listen to and that I sell. And, 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 and I didn't have no comedy material to go down to this club. 
But I did know a couple of things that had happened to me that I thought was funny. I said, well, one night we were sitting on the patio drinking margaritas, me and a couple of girls, and I said, let's go down to this motherfucking club and see what this motherfucker talking about. He talking about he gonna put me up the middle and I walk in, I'm gonna call this bluff, let's go. So we went down there and I walked in, he's like, you next, I'm so glad you showed up. Whoa. So I went up on stage and I killed that shit. First time I ever took, okay. took the stage. And when I got off stage, this guy came up to me. He said, you know, you, you're a funny little bitch. I was like, thank you. <laughs> and he said, I got a room over in Lemur Park. You need to come fuck, fuck with me. And he gave me his card. And so the first night that I ever did stand-up comedy, I met the late, great Robin Harris. That was oh, Robin Harris. Wow. And I felt Rest like he was man. passing the baton to me, literally, because I got approval like that the first I ever did it. So I went to... Comedy Act Theater, which was another popping place, you know, of Crenshaw back in the day. And, you know, everybody was in there just starting out struggling. The DLs, the Jamies, the Bill Bellamy's, the everybody, you know, was in there. And I met, like, DL and this guy started booking us together. And then, you know, shit started. And then all of a sudden, Comic View came along. It was Comic View versus Def Jam at that time. Okay. And, you know, you, you could do both. Or you could do one or the other, you know. And if you did too much Def Jam, when it came to acting, a lot of agents wouldn't fuck with you because they didn't know that you could be blue and then not be blue. They just categorized you as you being naughty and shit like this, and they didn't want to fuck with you. But anybody knows that if you can do dirty, you can do clean. Stupid. That shit just pisses me the fuck off. We could all be booked for the next church convention, T.D. Jakes. Jakes, hey. <laughs> holla, holla at us and watch what we do. That's the beautiful part about being a comedian. And they, they be forgetting that part. No, they, being a professional yeah, comedian, yeah. that's the difference. I think they only do that with us, though, black people. They, they'll be I like, know for a fact that they do. Yeah, because <laughs> they'll let them go wild, say the craziest shit, and then the next thing they be on a children's show. Exactly, whole Have ass sex tape. Have you ever been to a, a white comedy club and sat in the back and listened to white comedians, what they say? Yeah. You ever done it at like the comedy store and shit like that? Be in the back of the white room and hear what they say when they think niggas ain't around? <laughs> what? <laughs> Make you want to, boy, I'm going to whip your motherfucking ass. <laughs> and then, and then you get off stage, bitch, you didn't know I was in here, did you? <laughs> mm-hmm, they be saying some ratchet shit. Yeah. Some but their shit is racist shit. and our shit is funny. That's there you the go. difference. There you go. Shock, they want to shock you and say something racist, and we got we to gotta come every time. We they ain't gotta trying to shock nobody. They be sincere. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's shocking. Right. I, yeah. <laughs> That's what's shocking. Yeah. You meant that shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. They did. So what is this, a Ouija board? What the fuck is that? No, nah, this is a rolling tray. I was trying to figure it out, too. Oh, I'm like, are you doing casting spells up in this motherfucker? It's a rolling tray. You look a little... A little Ouija. Conjuring. I'm like, huh? I'm like, what are we doing? What's this Now nah, you, roll, you roll it right here, and then you sit the blunts right here as you roll them. And I don't roll. smoke blunts. Do you want to know why? Yeah. Because I just do not understand why you would taint wonderful, amazing marijuana with a nicotine-infested tobacco leaf. You don't know if you're getting high off the tobacco or off the weed. Why not use like a rice paper or something really light like that or even a pipe and stop fucking with the great weed with this shit? The tobacco is the devil. I, I know it's the weed getting me high. Well, how you know when you got it wrapped in a fucking tobacco leaf? Because I just smoked the regular cigarello and it ain't doing a goddamn thing. <laughs> I was desperate. <laughs> Is my other shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever it is, it's a beautiful combination. Yeah. Well, I, feel it, I don't like them. You from a, you, you, yeah, you know, most I'm women. I'm old joint girl. Yeah. Real Mary Jane man. girl. Joint. <laughs> <laughs> I want a joint. Did you make any bud? <laughs> <laughs> what a reefer that. Anybody got the reefer? I never said reefer. Really? Never. No, I'm not that motherfucking square girl. <laughs> reefer. Hey, you guys smoking reefers? <laughs> what is the reefer? <laughs> <laughs> what if you could just find a bag of reefer, like an authentic bag? 
Ain't, it probably ain't no more reefer no, left in the world. Do you know how world. far weed has come? First yeah, that's what I'm saying. All the reefer probably got, gone. First of all, an ounce used to be what they would call, they used to call it a lid. It was three fingers deep. That was how you measured an ounce of weed back in the day. But they also didn't have the buds like they do now. This weed has stems, seeds, every motherfucking thing <laughs> else. Then they had this other weed called Thai stick that was, it tasted like motherfucking candy. And it, it had a little string that used to go around it. And it was the baddest shit in the land. And then they came out with the sesamia, okay. which was the weed without the seeds. They're boneless. Yeah, I don't, yeah, boneless. <laughs> That's just boneless. So I done been through all of it. It's just all great to me. I just hate trash weed. Like, don't try to smoke trash weed. I'm from Arkansas, and every time I go back to my a family reunion, I have to bring my own weed. You because do. Because the weed is trash. You have to. Yeah. Trash. Yep. You're used to a certain caliber. Yeah, I'm just saying, California I'm not too. trying to be bougie, but I am about my weed. That's the one thing you're allowed to be bougie about. Though. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't play about that. Like, like that's dumb. I may as well smoke grass. I may as well smoke hay. Nah, we don't fuck with that. Type I'm not gonna of shit. smoke the good uh-huh. shit. It's stupid. The tie no. stick that's like chocolate tie. Oh, that was a good old shit. La 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 la. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> tie stick. Who remembers tie stick in the in the building? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look, you in one of my favorite movies of all time. Boy what right. is that? That damn boy. All right. Yes. The gift that keeps on giving. That movie had that's, me that's laughing what's so fucking hard. It's really inappropriate, isn't it? That's why I was laughing I went back so and tried hard. to watch it. I'm in the motherfucker. I went back and tried to watch it about a month ago. I couldn't get 10 minutes in. I was like, oh my God, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> that shit is so funny. Yeah, it's really hugely inappropriate yeah. and funny as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So how did Thank that, how did that come about? A uh, regular way. I had an audition. Mm. I had an agent. Bill, wasn't it like Star Wars? <laughs> I, had, I had an agent <laughs> named Starwell, and Starwell got me this audition, and they wanted somebody to play a hoe, <laughs> but I'm like, what? I'm like, I, I, I don't know how I can do it. That's but, a good luck saying. Anytime you come into something with some hoes, it's going to work. Well, I played a hoe many times, honey. Uh, yeah. And you lived with one. Exactly. And I lived with one. So, so I'm telling you, that's like your... Hoes are my friend. They're your friend good luck charm, man. Back in Oakland, California, hoes was the motherfucking movie stars of West MacArthur Boulevard, let it be known. Mm. Okay. We gotta talk about hoes when we get a chance. I'm too. gonna talk about hoes after I talk okay. about boys. Yeah, hell yeah. I like the line of the already. <laughs> Welcome back to the 85 South Show. We are in here with Lunel, and she putting us up on game right now. Yes. Hell yeah. Let's get back Why don't to play it. Play no music, but play me in. Play some, play, you heard what she said. Play us some pimping. She wanna hear some pimping. Play motherfucking, um, Drew Down. Ah. Oh, well, we're going to put this online. They're going to try to... So can't, you can't you use other people's music. LA, but you... I started in Long Beach. <laughs> okay. Come moved back to shit. Oakland. Oh, you went back? Okay. And came back to L.A. to move back to Oakland and came back to L.A. Moved back to Oakland and came back to L.A. and stayed. Okay. That's yeah. what's up. That's a, that's it didn't a hell stick of a the strategy. first until the third time to move back. You know, you know how we make it at the gate. You know? As long as you can I stay in the game. back and regroup. You're lucky if you can't go back to your hometown or to your people and regroup. Right. You know? Where's my motherfucking joint? I thought they had one. You thought, like a motherfucker, you've been sitting there rolling fucking blood for no, 25 no, 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 minutes. Thought you ain't thought about me. Blood. I done sat here and said that I would like. You see, see that? You see that? You see that? Let me see that. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me see. Wait a minute. This the end. That's the filter like, at the like, end. I can't hit it on this end. Hit it on that end. There you go. Okay, guys. Come on, we got you. So now. Starwell got you the audition. Starwell got me the audition. They wanted somebody who could improvise and tell like some like ho stories. Mm-hmm. They didn't want to write nothing. They wanted somebody who could improvise. Oh, I didn't even have a car. My homegirl, Bill Iman. Iman gave me a ride to the audition. And 
I went in this room. Okay, excuse me, everybody, just a moment. That's how you like the ladies, joint. And that's how a lady sucks one. Whoa! Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. I heard that. <laughs> you weren't ready for the realness. Uh-uh. No, sir. Wasn't ready for the realness. Call me off guard. Fuck me up with that one. So anyway, so I went in this room. And there was this guy who looked like a mad scientist who turned out to be Larry Charles, who was the director. And there was Sasha Baron Cohen, who I had never seen in regular clothes, only as Ali G. All right, okay. But I didn't know that that was Ali G. Okay. You know? So then they, uh... I had to bring it back to life real quick, baby. You know what you do. Suffocation. <laughs> you know, and sometimes you gotta bring it back to life. So, I went into the room and the dude who was the director, who I did not know who he was, and he said, I want you to pretend like you're at a fancy dinner party and that you're a prostitute and you wanna tell a couple of stories about being out on the streets and being a prostitute. And I was like, all right, and so <laughs> I just started improvising and saying one time I was out and I was just this guy and he wanted to lick my ass and all that. And, like, and then at some point I took Sasha's hand, this before COVID, I took Sasha's hand, I took his finger, and I sucked it, right? <laughs> now I don't know if that had anything to do with me getting the part, <laughs> but I got the part. Hey, hey. So that's how I got to shit. Mm -hmm. And I was sitting. I was sitting, and I'm sitting on Crenshaw and West 48, and then I get an email to say your ticket has been booked to Bucharest, Romania for tomorrow morning. You know, be ready at 7 a.m. The car gonna pick you up. And I'm like, where? Like, what? Yeah. Bucharest, Romania? Like, do I need a shot? What the fuck's going on? I don't know. And that's where we shot the Kazakhstani scenes was in Romania. My black ass in Romania <laughs> with like Dracula and shit. <laughs> you know? That's where should I do this at? Right there, oh, thank boy. you, baby. So it was the next day. What? When they wanted you to fly out, they told you where you was going and it yeah, was. Yeah, so I don't really remember much because I was so high. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But it was like 13 hours we had to fly to somewhere, then I had to change somewhere, and then go to Romania. <clears throat> Romania was not pretty or How long were you like in that. Romania? About a week, a stinky ass week. Damn. Yeah, I, I, I ain't never been. It wasn't like I was in Bucharest and stayed in the city. That's where our hotel was, but we had to go to some. <laughs> Off-brand bullshit. Town with no plumbing and shit, and weird motherfuckers. Everybody looked like a sex offender. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God, is this like for real, for real? You know, and I think they worked and they got a couple of some computers and some sugar. <laughs> <laughs> oil or some shit like that. I'm like, what? what? Yo, and then they made it one of the greatest movies of all, of all time with this wild ass right. shit. Right. It was nominated right. for Academy Award. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's dope. That should still be. He just dropped the second one. He should have brought you back. Well, they were supposed Why to bring me back oh. and then COVID hit. Oh, God. And then they had to finish the movie some kind of way. They paid me <laughs> but I didn't do the movie. What? And I'm glad. Hey, That's the finesse I, I'm, I'm right fine. there. Man, I'm fine. I'm we fine. We love it. I'm stories. fine that I didn't do the movie. Plus, they lied because at the end of the first, the real first Borat, he and I got married after he couldn't get Pam, Pamela Anderson. Right. And he, he and I got married. We had two little interracial kids at our feet at the bottom of the movie. But when they came back with this new one, 
he, he didn't mention me at all, and he had a totally white girl daughter. I'm like, this is incorrect, because the motherfucker is married to me, and where's our kids. fucking children? Right. So that, I'm glad I didn't do the motherfucking second one, and I'm glad I get the check, too. You got to show up with the kids. Meow. Sasha. 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 Hey, that's how, it's gonna, that's, that's how we can get in there. We can show up as the grown kids. There we go. There we go. We in there. You yeah. know what? Somebody could do that and show up as Sasha and my children. Bill, I'm looking at two motherfuckers who could do that. Did you hear what I said? That they could do a sequel. They could do it where they're, they're me and Sasha's kids. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But we had a boy and a girl, I think. You could play the girl. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> be bro, I dance on <laughs> that was just too good to leave. Yeah, you would have been stupid not to tag that. that. Was too, That's right. Too good to leave. He really just pulled. He really just pulled his gun before I did. <laughs> <laughs> I looked well, at my first. Well, quick draw, McGraw, like, son. Quick draw, McGraw. I looked at my first. That's what's up, baby. That's what's up. That was funny. Well, you know, you could, but it's okay. No, no. I no. no I can't. Uh -huh. mm. You've been killing it on the Vlad interviews too. You got a very interesting point of view on a lot of shit. I had to have a very interesting point of view to even continue to do Vlad after Godfrey and everybody was like, fuck him, and he said some shit about Farrakhan and don't fuck with Vlad and da, da, da. I, Vlad is not using me. I am not using him. The motherfucker got a platform just y'all like y'all do. And if anybody wants to know what I got to say about anything, I'm like, I'm glad to tell you. <laughs> Whatever the fuck it is, you know what I'm saying? I, done, I did so many, I had to back off now that I'm at work. I did so many even underground interviews during yeah. COVID with just regular motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. And if you want to know what the fuck I got to say, I'm down with it. Vlad want to know what the fuck I got to say. He got a platform, so I'm down with it. You be dropping a little game on them young rappers. Because I'm a motherfucking G. That's why I'm talking about. Of course. Of course I do, because I care. Yeah. I give a fuck. Let know? me ask you, what type of, like, if they was watching right now, what type of advice would you give these young rich niggas who get caught up with all this bullshit and buying shit and shit like that? You know the shit that happens in the rap game. What type of advice would you? Ain't the biggest problem. Yeah, it's, it's the shit that goes Dying with the lifestyle. The, and <laughs> yeah. the goofy yeah. shit. First of all, I wouldn't give them no goddamn advice because they don't want to hear nothing from me. They think they know every motherfucking thing. You feel me? They, you can't tell these motherfuckers nothing. If you could tell them something, they would be listening. They're not listening. They're all about the money. They have forgot about anything spiritual, anything cultural. You know, every now and then, like, if you have 10 rappers, maybe five, maybe four of them are really conscious and want to do something for the community and stuff. Other than that, they just bought into the bullshit about bitches and bling, and they don't know nothing about real estate, they don't know nothing about stock. They got all white folks around them, they got no motherfucking black people that, you know, they done out, out, out of... Listen, this shit is a trap and this shit is a motherfucking game. And the day you drink the Kool-Aid is the day you done fucked up. You are not the shit. They do not love you. This is all a motherfucking game. It's all about numbers and it's all about that paper. And the minute that you don't make a motherfucking paper, you will see how motherfucking loyal they are to you. They do not give a fuck and you need to remember that and know that at all motherfucking time. Yeah. This is business. Get what the fuck you can get. And if you got to get out, and if you can get out before they fucking drag you the fuck back down, because these motherfuckers love to build you up and drag you the fuck back down. If you can get the shit, and you can get the fuck out, then you win. And that's what I, that's all I got to say about that. See, that's that real shit you be talking right there. I, love that. I know you. I know you was going to say some real shit. <laughs> did, it make you it, did it make your dick hard? Hell yeah. <laughs> it jumped. It was like, man, she doing it. She doing it. Intelligence will make a motherfucking dick hard. Hell yeah, because they be forgetting. Now, you a whole lingerie model, too, now. <laughs> For Rihanna. Rihanna, not, now. Not fucking, you know, rainbow. No, yeah. not no, no, uh, yeah. real shit. Yeah. Hand selected. Yeah, that's, that's we, you know, thank Rihanna for that. Yeah, so what would it feel thank like to Rihanna. be a sex symbol here in these streets? But, <laughs> motherfuckers is thirsty, first of all, because, you know, me, I'm just a, 
I'm just a chick, you know. I haven't done the plastic surgery, and I haven't That's done the all whole that appeal. shit. Give you them know, that real shit. Like, this is the ass. Right. This is these titties. This is the lingerie. Let's go. What the fuck do you want me to do? If Rihanna says I can do it, then I can do it. And I don't give a fuck what nobody else thinks. If Rihanna said I can do it, then goddamn I can do it. And if she wants me to represent her shit, I'm going to motherfucking rock that shit. I hope she calls me. You can suck my dick if you don't like it. You can swipe left, click off, and be gone. I don't give a fuck. And Rihanna pays the bag. So there's that. If she ever need a nigga with the dick hanging out the drawers, I do it. She's got no lack of motherfuckers like that. I'm telling you, she don't know me. You know that I've always said that motherfuckers who wear their mask with their nose out is like wearing your underwear with your dick hanging out. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Why are you wearing your mask with your nose out? Who you who are you trying to impress? That's like wearing your drawers with your dick hanging out. DJ, <laughs> DJ, DJ, what say you? You better. <laughs> he don't know a lot of words. He don't need to. You leave him the fuck alone, OK? I've been, I've been trying to. You're going to be scooped. <laughs> Bruh, don't fall. Don't, hey, don't hey. fall. Hey. And don't look directly at Lou. <laughs> Don't look into her No, don't look directly. We're gonna be the first nigga to get flued out. <laughs> Lunel the flew this nigga out. Bro, we got a show. Like Yo, man. Bill, make him stop. You know, hey, get that little nigga a ticket. Make him Need stop. Make that him nigga stop. Out. Bill, make him stop. Make him stop. Y'all tripping. Hell no. I see your Prince tattoo. Yes. Come on. <laughs> That's what Did it jump do. again? Here you go. Ah! I'm not going to be wasting uh, hurdles over here. Jumps and shit yeah. on 80. Yeah. Good <laughs> Yeah, this is a Prince tattoo. You know why I got this? First of all, I always wanted to have one. Second of all, I wanted it on my microphone hand. Mm. Third of all, Prince had a band called The Revolution. Mm-hmm. I got this when we was going through the George Floyd Revolution. I got this to commemorate what the fuck we went through and to honor Prince. So that's why I got it, because the revolution. That's what's up. Right. How long you been wearing your nails like that? Well, since 1977. And I know that because that's when I got uh, on high school. And my girlfriend was just, they were just starting to do nails, and my girlfriend was one of the first people to ever start trying to do it. Vanessa Gutierrez, uh, hola, mommy, where you at? And um, so she used to practice on me, so I had nails. The only people I had ever seen with nails before me was Diana Ross, Cher, and Glodine White. And then there was me. That shit crazy. Yeah, That's they some black like history. Right? Yeah, before Flojo. Yeah. But I'm older than her, so. That's why. <laughs> You said the revolution, George Floyd, last time I saw you, he was at the Laugh Factory outside during the whole protest with the stuff. Lunell talked, had hella white people listening, and she cussed this lady out (laughs) because she was playing with them. You you tell it. Them them little devil sticks, nigga. (laughs) Little little white people, little trick sticks you do. These little fucking we talking balls. about black people getting killed. Yeah. You know, you know, back in the day, you used to have these clack 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 those balls. And there was acrylic. This bitch had something. She was swinging around and shit. And all the white people were sitting on the street on Sunset Boulevard in front of the Life Factory. And Jamie Masada had blocked off some prime real estate on Sunset, Sunset. Boulevard in Hollywood. The white folks was mad than a motherfucker. But he had to block it, block it all because what would have stopped somebody from driving through and trying to kill us all, right? <clears throat> like they had been doing. So right. this, this, the, oh, I had, you know, first of all, me and Chaka Khan got together after Ahmaud Aubrey's murder. And on Mother's Day, we, the two of <clears throat> us, went to a park and had invited people on Instagram to come out if your kids have passed away by gun violence, whether it be just street shit or the police. So we had a rally. Chaka Khan is an old revolutionary bitch. 
Y'all don't know. I, I she's not, she's her, not just Rufus or any of that shit. So she her. was the one who said, let's do it. So we did that. So then after that, I wanted to be active, but I wanted to be where I would feel comfortable. I knew that I wasn't walking up and down Hollywood Boulevard. This was before my knee surgery. I was like, fuck that, can't do that. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm not gonna be somewhere where I don't feel comfortable. And then Jamie Masada said he was gonna have the rallies in front of the Laugh Factory. I said, well, I feel like that's home. Right. I can do it there. And we went, and this was the first time in my life that white folks was really motherfucking listening. We had hundreds of white people sitting on the ground listening to nigga after nigga after nigga after nigga, tell them what the fuck been happening, what, how the fuck we feel, and for the first time we felt listened to, and we was there for that. Yeah. Mm. Yo. That's dope. That shit was crazy. Yeah, and, that and was... every motherfucking big celebrity that didn't come out to support that is a punk bitch in my motherfucking <clears throat> eyes, because why are you just doing entertainment and you don't stand the fuck up? You know, stand the fuck up. What, are you scared that your Jewish lawyer is going to drop you or some shit like that? What, are you scared of? Why you don't want to get involved? I don't fucking get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. That's real. I was there. I had to be. Once I found out, and then it was motherfucker after motherfucker, like comedian, comedian, but everybody wasn't a comedian. Some people were, like, activists in the community saying yep. real love. You know what I'm saying? Like We wanted to talk. Because we had never been listened to. We had all these motherfuckers' attention. They, they were sitting, sitting the in road, the street, dog, like, sitting in the hot ass street. Like the black paint, not on the side. Where you drive your car. Sunset. Right. And we was like, yeah, Stupid. sit there, motherfuckers, and listen to nigga after nigga after nigga after nigga. Because, <laughs> you know, low key, we were laughing too. Right. <laughs> it was. It was. That shit was hilarious. Yeah, nah, I was... told that bitch I to say, if you, don't, if you crack somebody in the head with that bullshit, you're going to start a whole ass right and sit your motherfucking hillbilly ass down Yo. and shut the fuck up. And that's what I said to the girl. Yeah. And then, so. yeah. You're going to let her talk to me like that? <laughs> that's the shit that got her in there. Like, Lunel said some shit. She was like, bullshit. Or some shit like that. But she was saying bullshit. She was trying to explain. She was like, no, what she was saying, that white people don't allow black people to police their own community. Yeah, yeah, sit bullshit. down, shut up. And like, yeah, it was one sit of them explaining Sit down, shut up, I, I get you. Sit down, shut up, shut the fuck up. Right. Trying to explain it. <laughs> so we took advantage of that <laughs> opportunity to talk to white folks. And shout out to Jamie Masada for doing that. Hey, that was yeah. beautiful what y'all did for Paul Mooney out there, too. The, yeah, the um, he's going to have an official, we'll see. I'll be there this Wednesday. Um, they're doing a thing for him in Hollywood, and uh, we're going to see who is there and who is not. I would be there to report people of who showed the fuck up and who did not. This is supposed to be the official, you know, home going goodbye for his entertainment friends and stuff like that. So that's going to be Wednesday. And um, I will report later on my Instagram at Lunell, <laughs> at L-U-E-N-E-L-L. -E -L -L. I will be snitching about who the fuck was there and who the fuck was not to honor one of my mentors and my friend Paul Moon. That's what's up, man. What you got coming up? Well, you know, we got our names on the front of the comedy store. You, you I thought your name was about, already okay, on the front no, of it. I know. Where no, was it at? And they need to be. Your I mean, name me. just now on there? Yes, mine, and so is Cedric's. And there's like a lot of us black comics whose names wasn't up there. I, I, I used thought to, your shit was I on there. I used to write my name on there with Whiteout. Oh. <laughs> I did. <laughs> but I don't have to no more because it's up there. And when we when we when they had the ceremony to let us know, I thought it was just gonna be in the front and they wanna take a you know, that plaque with our names on it and put it in the back. But our names are on the front on the Sunset Boulevard side. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. You earned it. Yeah. <laughs> you put your time in. Especially sure. if you're from that city and you've been putting it down in that city for 
a good amount of time. Like, but listen, Hollywood don't give black folks the credit they deserve. Listen. Talk about listen it. Listen to this. So when we made, I'm going to tell you something. This is to the people who hated on coming to America. I just want to let you know that us who participated in coming to America could give less than a fuck, and I'm going to tell you why. Every day we were going to work with, like, John Amos and, you know, Vanessa Bell Calloway and Garcelle Bouvet and Rick Ross and, you know, people like this. Arsenio and Eddie, number one. Number two, we were going to Tyler Perry studio every day and seeing sound stages with Ossie Davis and Ruby Dee and Whoopi Goldberg and Holly Berry and Will Smith and Oprah Winfrey and Whoopi Goldberg. When, if you think of all the movies that they made for Hollywood and not Paramount, Warner Brothers, Sony, nor Universal, would even consider, have never even thought about putting any of them black people's name on a fucking soundstage. And Tyler paid homage to Cecily before she died. She got to see that. So I, the, 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 the pride that we had in making that fucking film, we don't give a fuck what the numbers are. We don't give a fuck. You can suck our dick. We were so happy and proud <laughs> to be in that motherfucker. You know, every day we were proud every day. Plus, Tyler owned that Confederate army base where white folks used to be there plotting on how to kill niggas, and he owns it, and it's bigger than Paramount and Sony and all that shit. So, you know, you don't give a fuck about what the fuck you got to say. You are not <laughs> rain on my motherfucking parade about coming to America. Talk your shit. That's the fact. Sometimes you just gotta tell people to suck your dick, man. Well, <laughs> who have you told to suck your dick? Right? America. America. And the whole. Is that her name? No, <laughs> the country. No, I mean physically. Like, who has sucked your dick lately? <laughs> These are things we don't discuss. It's been sucked though. Oh, it's okay. been sucked recently. Tell her. Oh, okay. Tell her who sucked your dick lately. Like, I don't no, do that. Tell her. I don't get my oh, dick sucked oh, and okay. tell nothing. Okay, okay that's fine. I understand. You a gentleman. No, exactly, because I want it sucked again. <laughs> oh, you out here oh, telling you people? Point, you out here telling people who sucked your dick, huh? Watch what ain't gonna happen. That's Wait right. a minute. Watch I what ain't gonna happen. I told happen. him just enough to keep the you shit right. going. You right, you right, baby. You right. I'm gonna give you the. I'm gonna give you brownie points. That's what the what bitch gonna say. Oh my god. <laughs> what are you getting? Y'all are might. Y'all might have got them. It's okay to come out. The football player. <laughs> what the fuck happened? The what football, happened? The football, football player know. just came out. No. <laughs> No, I don't do my dog like that. No. Why do everybody when no. they... No, I, don't, I, don't do I want to like say some shit, but I don't want the people to come after me. No, so no, it ain't the people, man. I know mm -hmm. my dog. We done went and seen some hoes together. That don't mean shit. It mean everything. I know motherfuckers with 10 kids like to suck dick on the weekends. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. No. Nope. Bruh. Nope. Bruh. You not better that wake nigga, the man. fuck That's up. my brother. Do you don't know where you are? I know where I'm at. That's my brother. Nope. Oh, no, I'm not. I don't mean you. No, no hell no. I'm saying, don't you do him like that. No, no. I didn't mean you. Mm -hmm. I don't you wouldn't know who was sneaking off. I don't think you're gay. Niggas ain't never had no questions about a nigga. But because... I don't think you're gay. I was bullshitting. I know. My gay dog is strong. I'm not going to say nobody in here is, but you ain't. <laughs> Look around, this motherfucker. <laughs> look around, look around. Hey, hey. I'm really sad, though, that we're not in front of your beautiful theater studio audience, you know? I said, damn, I got to do, what, the COVID edition? And I would have loved to have been in the theater. I didn't know you show. would do the live show. I damn sure would have brought you over there. Well... I they won't were, for free, but they I'm, fucking love I'll do the I'll do the garage for free, but I won't. No, you're right. I won't do the theater for free, but oh, I want to do it. I wouldn't call you for free. Are you bet not. I know how you get down. <laughs> cash. I would cash you out. Ain't that a trip about? And the cash. You wouldn't even have to count it. I just walk up to you, unzip your little pouch, and just <laughs> drop it in there. 
And then once you lift it up, you're like, that's my it. Look, <laughs> you, I just my walk right up. Your little pal's right my there. My little pal? Yeah, oh, it. you mean this? Yeah. I thought you meant this. Not the fruit. Ah, 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 you keep money out now. I was like, you know where the zipper is, no. baby? What? Yeah, no, no. She did sit forward. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to hide it. I'm talking she about this little bag right here. Oh, my bag. Yeah, this little bag. That you. matches my tennis shoes. Oh, you stunning on me. Oh, I'm trying. I, I knew where I was coming. Yeah. I mm. said, I can't go Showed in there and get bullshitting. I'm about to represent up. for you guys. Everything hidden like a motherfucker, too. I know until that savage And him looking shit like the dry. rich auntie. Got bracelets and Rolexes and earrings and necklaces. And <laughs> she got a necklace and a chain. <laughs> Damn, I should have wore some shit if I knew. But you dressed down for me? Nah, I just, I'm trapping right now. I dressed up for you. I'm trapping too. I know. This is my trap, Joey. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. What? what? Shut the fuck up! Oh. Oh. Welcome oh. back to the 85 oh. South Show! Oh, 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 oh. 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 This podcast oh. is for motherfuckers who got some trap jewelry. <laughs> Damn, I ain't doing shit in life. <laughs> Where your trap jewelry at? Nigga! My Damn. trap jewelry. I'm out here scruggling. Okay. Where your trap jewelry is? <laughs> it's a scruggle. <laughs> where your trap jewelry? Right, where your trap jewelry at? Little well, Nell, give, up, give us some of your favorite rap songs of all time. Because we were talking off camera. I know you fucking with hip hop a lot. Okay. I always see you over there fucking with Snoop. I love. Eric B. and Rakim. Okay. Paid in full type shit. I ain't no joke. I used to let the mic smoke, but now I slam it on the ground and make sure that it's broke. <laughs> um, I love um, Heavy D, any Heavy D. That nigga was smooth. I love Heavy D. Rest in peace to Heavy D. Rest in peace, oh, Heavy D. I'm very Tribe Called Quest. Oh, you okay. like you like the real hip hop. I like okay. it, the real shit. Hip-hop. Tribe. I fucks with, you know, Guru Nim. I fucks with Wu Tang. Okay. And then Seven Chambers. Come on. I fucks with um, Short, of course, if you want to go. Come on, too short. Yeah, yeah, Ria. Come on, you know, you I, do, the, I fucks with Hammer. Don't, don't hate on Hammer. Fucks with Hammer. My daughter danced with Hammer. Don't hate on Hammer. Girl. Girl. Dance with Hammer. Yes. What hammer? Which hammer? Which hammer error? The, the, the now hammer. Oh. <laughs> hammer! The, the hammer. now hammer. Oh, hammer! <laughs> hammer! Dang, put me in the man! Did, 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 did he walk around? Nah, <laughs> boy. The Taco Bell commercial hammer. Yo, hammer, I'm starving. Let's get some burgers. Burgers? And hey, that's out the door. I got something much better in mind. Come on, let's break. Yo, Now that's the way the hammer runs for the border, because the border's in order. Yo, 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 sweet Bro, they no, don't know. that was okay. that. Don't, yeah. don't do that. Don't you? Don't. That shit was crazy, though. That nigga and I, off and the I roof. fuck with 40, and I fuck with like Mac Dre, and um, uh, you know, oh uh, gosh, PE. Public uh, enemy. Yeah, all the good shit. Queen Latifah. Come on, yeah, motherfucking. Yeah. Uh, Money in the middle. MC Light. Motherfucking the real Roxanne. Okay? <laughs> and all that old school shit, that's me. Love all day Houdini. Man. One love, one love. You love me just the averages. One love, one love, one love. One love. You love looking just the averages. One love. Rest in pizza, ecstasy. Yeah. Yeah. Ecstasy. That song go now. <laughs> A lot of that shit timeless. I know. Cause I'm a ho, you know I'm a ho. How do you know? Cause I told you so. Cause I'm a ho. That nigga. Come on, man. Some say it's an art, others say it's a shame that you would give me your body before your name. name. Them niggas was going, oh boy. Name. Come on. Man. <laughs> Come on. And of course, Run DMC and O L L and all that shit. Yeah. You know, cause that motherfucking. Mm. There you go. Doing it, 
doing it and doing it and doing it well. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. I represent Queen. She was raised out of Brooklyn. <laughs> LL Cool J probably love you. Uh, we like each other. We don't like each other? Yeah, his wife, too. We done kicked it before. <laughs> Not like that. You're so lovable, though. Everybody loves you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's good. You have a great spirit. You know what I'm saying? Every time we see you, you bring some great energy. It don't matter what it's on. Well, that's probably why I'm here, because I don't think that you guys fuck with, like, fake-ass motherfuckers. Or... No, this is the realest show in America. Did you know that this is the number well, one? Well, you know, I have a YouTube show called Haley Now. <laughs> but I'm and saying... And I tend to think of that. Is the realest show in they America. They did a poll. We talk about is America. the number one rated show <laughs> amongst checked, black people between the ages of 13 and 86. Have you checked? Have you checked my stats though? You don't even know about my show. I'm gonna look. That's the whole. You know, I got lunatics. What's your hashtag? What's your people call? The 85 percenters. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. that's so Muslim. Nah. <laughs> nah. Because we already accounted for the uh -huh. people who ain't gonna fuck with us. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, right we done already took them out. Give us 85. Yeah, we ain't even trying to fuck with the whole hundred. We know on, everybody man. don't like Come this. On, man. Can your DJ but go But the on ones who do? Can your DJ go on oh, and play or something right quick, you know? And we Bruh, just, I just he should hot. Let's do. Play her some pimping. This the second time. <laughs> he was asleep. All right, we're going to replace this nigga with, a, with uh, Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> Play me some pimping. Pimping, coming back right in up. The year. What do you want to hear? Some funky dope shit? I want to hear. Sugar free. Mac oh, I love sugar free. God damn. He said, I ain't never hit a woman, no, but I'll smack the shit out of a bitch while you bullshit. I said, what was that? Sugar free said, bitch, why the weed wet? Oh. Why you all on my dick? It's early in the morning. I ain't even peeing yet. Yeah. Woo! That sugar free is a monster. <laughs> oh, I love that it. That nigga so told a bitch, I wouldn't even buy you a box of Fruit Loops. Come on. When I tell you, jump I'd rather give you my bitch than let you breathe. <laughs> the last bit of endo smoke. I'd rather you give my bitch tonight. <laughs> High hole silver. <laughs> bitch, if you look at me like that again, ho, I'm suddenly to kill you. Come <laughs> <laughs> on. Yes. That nigga's so cold. Yeah, I love Hello. sugar free. You got to be a hardcore motherfucking G to dig sugar free. He's not playing. <laughs> I bet I ever hear a bitch say she broke as long as she got some pussy with her ass in her deep throat. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, wait, ain't the bitch living the day that can move me. She used to be a sweet taste in my mouth, but now I want to knock her motherfucking ass out. <laughs> yeah! Bang, bang, yeah! chitty, chitty. Lips, hips, fingertips, ass, and titties. Now, uh huh. Boom, yeah! dude. That's how we do it in Pomona. Yeah! I Pomona. left her. Ooh. Old twerp ass, ragged mouth. Nigga. <laughs> 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 that nigga be Bravo. 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 Yeah, Strong J. Man. Strong J. Strong J. Strong J. Strong J. Strong J. That nigga go crazy. Do he know? Hell Have yeah. you ever met him? Yeah, we was on a flight together, man. That did you tell said, him? Hell yeah, I told what did he, him. How did he react? Was he nice? Yeah, man, I fuck with him, man. I really appreciate oh, that. You a pimp-ass sugar-free. I would have probably hit the track for sugar-free. Man. For a little while. He you would have hit the track for sugar-free? I probably would have hit the track the for The strong. Him. You on it. Yeah, I would have probably hit it right quick. Right. I did, I did, I did hold in Oakland for two weeks. Two weeks? Yes. But then what had happened was... Yeah, yeah, give us that. I got busted, but in all the movies, I thought your pimp was supposed to come and get you out. <laughs> but he did not come and get me out. I you. bonded my own self out because I had that much money in my titty. I got out, I went back to the safe house. He laying in the bed with the white bed. I took the dope, the gun, and the money. I was out. I never seen the nigga again. His name is Freddy. No! Oh, he might be dead. Oh, oh, shit. He might be dead. He might be dead. Shit. Freddy's name is Freddy. He might be dead. Don't fucking. Hey, uh, Frederick. Uh, <laughs> this is all hypothetical. This is all. Uh, this is from an upcoming movie. We do a little storytelling. She's talking story. about, yeah, she's talking about the biopic yeah. that's in the works. Yeah, we work No, I'm not. This oh. shit is true to the motherfucker. <laughs> you know what you did, nigga. You pimped me for two minutes, you bitch-ass motherfucker. How long you left you in there? 
No, no, I got out because oh, okay. I had money. I bet my uncle. But he didn't even make no effort. No, he was in bed with the white bitch. I'm like, it adds up to injury. What is it? Insult, insult, to injury. insult to injury. He in bed with the white bitch. I'm like, okay, guess what? Watch this, bitch. And I was damn swoop to do out. I used to be a gangster, bitch. A gangster, bitch. I used to be a gangster, bitch. A gangster, bitch. I'm glad you gave him streets up. Well. Because the comedy game needed you. More than them. Yeah, stories. I did give him up. I was trying to think if Freddy I give him up. Freddie was looking for you, though. What? He looked for you for a little while. Freddie? Yes. Freddie was looking around. You seen Lunel? That's in three, that's three pans. <laughs> I was today. what they call an earner. <laughs> <laughs> I was an earner now. You want to know when you make the most money as a hoe to me or when you did was before motherfuckers go to work, like 7, 7.30 in the morning and want to get their dick sucked right quick before they go hit the financial district. Whoop. Ho got to get up early, rule number one. The early bird gets the cash. Okay. Or the worm. Okay. First, you get the worm first, then the cash. Or Fuck I, a worm, pay me. There you go. Pay well, me and don't pay first. me no attention. Damn, we'll get right the manual, right here, right now. First thing you got to do is you got to get up early. Get your ass up. Nobody yeah. likes a lazy hoe. Nobody. You up and at them. Nobody. Get up, bitch. Get to work. Get that trash. <laughs> See, I used to be a bottom bitch, so I could get the bitch up. Get your bitch ass up and get on that track, bitch. Fuck brushing your teeth. Go get that money before I smack the fuck out your ass. All right, ass. let me ask you this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. What does a hoe eat for breakfast? Hoes don't eat breakfast. They eat that track for breakfast. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh. This ain't the Holiday oh, Inn, bitch. This is about my motherfucking cat. You know? <laughs> If a hoe need breakfast, she don't want to make no money. Exactly. Go eat a dick for breakfast. Eat a dick. Brush your teeth with the dick. With the money. Eat the dick, brush your teeth with the money. There you mm. go. I don't want to give up all my game, guys, right now. You know, It's enough. The kids are watching. They shouldn't be they watching. Watch Ain't she don't mean none of this, baby. Don't you go on to sleep like a bye. And good night. Take care. Just leave. <laughs> so do they edit this or how long? Nah, they should edit. I will edit shit that we ask uh, them to edit. Or, or how long is this show go on or whatever? You ready to get out of here? No, I'm just, no, no, no. This is I what can... we do in the trap. We just talk shit and okay, we that's just fine. show love and enjoy our I company. am only here out to love because they are not paying me. <laughs> I'm only, but I, I rarely do shit without getting the money right now. I've been in a pandemic. I got a year's worth of money to make up for. I'm not out here fucking around these streets. My tour is called the Fresh Out of Favors. Let's so go. I ain't got no favors for now, motherfucker, but if I love you and I fuck with you, I'll be there. So here I am. Let's go. Let's go. What more could you ask for? I could have asked for some motherfucking Chinese food or some motherfucking pizza. We didn't get you that. No, you should have had that shit. We, we didn't know that's what you ate. Nigga, all this weed, what the fuck? You thought a bitch was going to suck her goddamn lipstick off? And what the fuck? I mean, I'm just saying, we... we oh, you don't, have, you don't have too many divas here. I, no, I we, we can get you whatever you want. All no, you I can get whatever the fuck the I want my motherfucking self. Well, why you, on, why you over here? I can have, make it happen for no, you. No, it's already too late, baby. All right. All right. <laughs> What's up, DJ looking like Shaggy and shit? That is Shaggy. You it shaggy. wasn't him. It was you. <laughs> Play that, play that song. Uh, you like that, that Shaggy wasn't me. Can you play that for me? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Bo butt naked, thinking on the bedroom floor. How can I resist what I was yeah, okay. Come on. Hey. He's stupid. Play that Shaggy. He's stupid. You'll never give it an extra key. And then have holes You're over fired there. like a mouse. What's wrong with that man? Stupid. Yeah! <laughs> Turn it up. That's what you like. Just right now, you know. Well, look here. There you go. We appreciate you coming through here Thank and you, showing man. us love. Blue nail. Hey! Let's 
wrestling. And that's exactly how it goes, folks. When Lunel come through the trap, Why we might fuck around and be listening to Shaggy. Give me an extra key. Amen. Rich Auntie vibes. Shout out to my dog Clayton English. You know what it is. Shout out to my man Chico Bean. Hey. DC Young Fly. Ghetto Legends Tour. Hey. Coming soon. This has been another 85 South Show production. Lunell, Clayton English, J O N. We out of here. Turn it up. Turn it up. It's a family reunion. At this time, please ensure your seatbelt is securely fastened. The tray table and seat backs are up and locked. We'll be underway shortly, and thank you for flying. <laughs> I just thought about what you. <laughs> you told that girl. It is longer than CVS. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You know, they were long too. We can see it. We can see it. Uh, it's like hey. empty punching bag. Yeah, man. It was late. It was just Bruh. like teddy bear leg. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, y'all good back there? No kids. All right. We just did. Hey, yeah. We got the tour dates. Oh, word. Yeah. We had a date. It's back on, bro. Hey, man. We back in the game. Look, we got a bunch of them too. Yep. 717, that's July 17th, we in Macon. Yeah. Then the 24th of July, we in Biloxi, Mississippi at the Coast Coliseum. Yeah. Then August 7th, we in Greenville. Bro, which Greenville? It's Greenville in every state. But whichever one the Bon Secours Wellness Arena is at. Remember, we couldn't figure out how to say that yeah, shit. We I don't there. even know if it's the same. Is it North, is it, bro, is it Greenville, North Carolina, J-O-N? No, it's not. It's Greenville, South Carolina. You, oh. That's why you sit back there. Sit your dumb ass back there, bro. All right. Then on the, August the 14th, we in Fayetteville at the Crown Coliseum. And then, then on, September 11th, we in Jacksonville. At the Vice Star. That sounds like a hospital. Yeah. But we ain't, we, we gonna kill them, though. So that's why we gonna you know, sound like that. October 1st, we in Seattle at the Wamu Theater. Wamu. That sound like a whale name. Indian. It's That's the Indian. The Indian? Probably on the reservation. Word. Okay. Yeah. Well, I moved. Then 10 2, we in Sacramento at the Memorial Auditorium. Sacramento? Yes, Sacramento. Where they got some things out there in Word. Sacramento. I ain't never been to Sacramento. J.O., you ever been to Sacramento? Yeah. Well, we about to go to Sacramento, boy. 10 29, we in Tallahassee. Yeah. Donald Tucker Civic Center. I thought they said Donald Duck. Yeah, that would have been dope. One. But we're going to be at the Donald Tucker. They probably got a dumb duck in Orlando. Yeah. 11 5, we in North Charleston at the North Charleston Coliseum. You know, 11 5 is November. Yeah, but okay. I, just, I can read numbers. Mm -hmm. But enough about that. In Charleston, South Carolina? Or North? North Charleston. That didn't say the state, though. North Charleston? Yeah, it's north of South Charleston. But it's a, it's a Charleston in every state, too. 11-6, which is November the 6th, we right. will be in Greensboro at the Greensboro Coliseum. That's, that's Greensboro, that's North Carolina. Because you know it. Yeah, I'm like 30 minutes away from there. You know what I mean? So all they got to do is go to the 85southshow.com for more information on new tour dates. That means we got some more coming, y'all. We got Yeah, we can only drop these right now. Right. These are locked in. Man. Yeah. Well, there you see, so many we, we are playing. on our way to your city right now. We stole these seats from Spirit and... Um, you know, they, we gonna give them back. It's nah, like, man, we just being resourceful, bro. We fucking around and got this plane. Yeah. You just gonna go to sleep in it. Seat on that back. We're trying to get old legends to This ghetto. Get your ticket. I hate it here. I ain't got my seat belt on. Well, why you don't see the different color than mine? It's not even the same brand of seat. It's ghetto. It's hell. Better be glad DC ain't here. He probably on the real plane. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, he he no, nah, no, nah, he just he just caught an earlier flight. That's all that no, is. No, me and you done went half on this shit, is it? We should have kept him. Nah, this is a good investment, man. Look, we got our people in the back. She mad. Nah, no, bro, we gonna probably have to do another season of this show. What show? One, you know the one. Man, y'all get the tickets. All right, look, we got to get some extra seats for the plane. They don't let back. We ain't got no seat belts, so, you know. 
go to the website, 85southshow.com. Seatbelt brown, but the seat blue. Uh, ain't no other part to that, Los. You just gonna lay that across your waist like that? Yeah, totally. Y'all get y'all tickets to the show. Please, please. Look at our plane. That's our plane. What's up? Check this out. Everybody over here at the 85 South Show, we believe that the Hawks are about to win the NBA championship. So that's why we dropped our um, commemorative tribute <laughs> to the Atlanta Hawks. 85 South Show. Look, man, big salute to the Hawks. Look, you can get 10% off this exclusive merch if you just go to the website and, and register with your email. We dropped these. They sold out. We brought them back. So here they are. Make sure you hit the website and order up these shirts, man. Check this out. Hold on, let me get the promo code. Hold on. The website is 85apparelcode.com. Um, yep, do that. Just go there. And then you straight from there. If you sign up, you get 10% off. Real shit. Look, read it yourself. Read it. I'm going to leave it there for a minute because I know you read slow. Because you're probably sitting there right now. Just, we drop the yeah, it's on there. Sick of this, man. Go to the website. If you want one of these, ain't nobody forcing you to do nothing. I know that people like, we only got a few of them anyway. These not for everybody. These are for real 85 percenters. If you're not one, I understand. This is a limited run. That means it's going to be worth something one day. <laughs> Go to the website if you want to stay up on the, I got mine. If you don't buy them, I just keep wearing them. You know how much shit I got that match this? <laughs> More for me. <laughs> Chicken is ready. I'm out of here. <laughs>